Hello and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's YouTube channel. I'm John Jordan and the game we're looking at today is uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes from EA and Capital Games. The thing we're specifically looking at today is kind of a bit of a hint, tip kind of thing um, and it is about why you should always choose the hardest opponent when it comes to the squad arena part of the game. So let's go into squad arena. So uh, here we go. So the squad arena is effectively the PvP mode of the game. This is where you choose your best characters or your best kind of deck of characters. Effectively, there's a card element uh, in the game, and you fight another player's deck. So we can see here it says select an opponent, tap and hold the unit to see details. So I can look to see these other players. They've got five characters in their hand. I'm going to have five in mine. And uh, we can also see uh, the power of each, kind of uh, the combined power really of, of all those cards. So Olivo Kenobi has a power of 12,276, whereas Mola Eliza has uh, 11,851. So there's a, there's a bit of a um, kind of a friction in, in the advice I'm going to give you. Obviously, if you, if you choose to fight an opponent with the highest power, then you're more likely to lose. So that's one reason um, to, to, to disagree with me, but I'll explain why um, I, I'm gonna give this advice uh, for other reasons. Um, and the reason that that's important is you can see, if you see at the top of the screen, I can see my rank, my power, and my prize tier. So your rank in the game gives you, every day gets you some prizes. So there is, to a degree there is a balance. So if, you, if, you, if we go back to the, if we go back, where's it gone? The daily activities every day to finish the daily activities you have to play three arena fights so normally what i so you, you get some choices so normally you you would try and have like at least one battle that you think you're going to win because you want to keep your rank going up um but it's worth losing battles as well that's what that's my kind of point here it's worth losing at least i prefer i happy to lose two battles a day really um so i'm going to choose the um opponent with the most power not because i expect to beat him if you see his powers or hers loads more than mine i'm, I'm my power is 9355 so, but there is a reason. So we'll, we'll just go into the battle. So as with um, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, you know, I can move, I can change units if I want to. I'm not really gonna bother about changing units at the moment. Um, we'll go into the battle. And the other thing about Galaxy of Heroes is I can uh, let the AI take over. So in a sense, the other player is not playing me in real time. The AI, the game's AI is using their deck of cards. So they're having their attack now. It's turn-based, so um, it's my turn now. Uh, I can use, press the auto button in the top left hand corner and then my the game AI will take over my cards. Um, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't, it depends. Um, as I'm not going to win this one, maybe I should, maybe I should, it'll be quicker. So I'll, I'll just do that and explain that. So so this is the, the general battle. Um, so the characters all have different attacks and different kind of attributes. So you can see my guys are getting whapped already. Uh, you can see there's uh, red icons and green icons across the top of my characters That's um, and the other opponent's characters as well, that's where they're getting buffed and debuffed depending on the different attacks going on, so you can see my guy just did like a resistance thing there, so I've got some green buffs ahead of, uh, green uh, attributes ahead of my characters, I mean I'm getting whipped, whipped here. So why am I saying this? Because no one likes to lose, I'm going to get, there we go, I've not even destroyed one of his, one of his characters, I've got absolutely mullered. So why do I say that I'm happy to lose this. Well, sometimes you do win, <laughs> so that's the one thing. Sometimes um, you'd have to be a bit more strategic and look about look to see your deck of characters. So my deck's up in a particular way, very offensive way without any healing, uh, but I target certain kind of groups of, or certain ca certain play cards um, in the hope that I can kind of gain an advantage that way. Um, so I lost, so I'm gonna go to continue. So this, this is why you should at least lose once a day to a, the highest level player you can find. So I'm going to send this guy an ally request. So what does that mean? So let's go into allies and we'll see why they're important. They're not important for the squad arena battles. Those are purely um, your cards against the other opponent's cards. But if I go into allies, so I, if I know your ally code, I can enter it there physically. Um, but these are the these are my allies. So you can only have thirty five. It kind of um, yeah, 
basically it's only the only, that's how many you can have. So if I look down here, we can see you know got some high level guys here. So um, what's the highest level one I've got? Oh, was that okay? Um, so if we look at this, that's so because this person, this player is my ally. This is his leader, the leader of his of his deck or her deck, I should say. Um, I now have access to that when I go and play one of the other mission modes. So in those mission modes, you have six cards, six characters in your in your deck, one of which is borrowed from another player. So that's why it's really important that you should go and place the highest level players you can, because that's how you get access to some of these much so some of these you know they, these high level players have higher level cards than you do, kind of by definition. The other thing you ha you should do is. Is, is remove some. So this one is level 44 Chewbacca, you know, it's not actually that powerful. So remove that. And now I've got obviously some more allies. And um, this one, what's this? So this power is not great. Oh, it's okay. But you can see ahead of, I've got, there's a 64 level um, Darth Sidious and a, and a 48. So I can remove that one. So there we go. Um, so I've got two more to do. So that's that's kind of that's kind of the reason you should be. Um, so these are all requests people have requested me. I'm not really adding people back. What's that one pending? Oh no, that's one. That's one. That's the one that I've. That's ones that I've sent. Pending, I think. Okay. Yeah. So losing is not always bad. Particularly, I think. Because um, Galaxy Virus has this autoplay thing, it's not like you're hanging around and you're watching yourself lose. Um, sometimes I say it's worth playing high-level characters to see if you can beat them. There is a rock, paper, scissors. There is an attribute element in in the cards that means sometimes you can beat much higher players. Um, and obviously to rank up, you need to be beating play, you know players. Um, so the more the high-level players you beat, the more you're going to rank up. If you just beat players who are like one level above you or a bit more powerful than you, you're not going to level up very quickly. So there we go. That that was my one tip for the day of the three daily squad arena battles you should be doing lose one of them to a high level player and then you'll get those allies in and that will make your life much easier when you're doing that these light sided battles so let's quickly show you that so let's go um if i go into battle so these now i can these are the heroes i can borrow so you can see these are all yeah, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads, and loads. So there we go. Yeah, some of these are you know much higher level than other ones. Some of them, but obviously some of them have different attributes as well. So it's not just about the power. But that's why it's important, and that's why um, you should heed my advice. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We play a lot of free-to-play mobile games. We're particularly playing a lot of Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes at the moment because it's one of my favourites. Um, and if you subscribe, you won't miss any of our top tips uh, or or new games that we that we like to play. And maybe you'll find something that you like to play too. Good. So hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.